Good everybody, Cam here from the fishroom.co.nz and today we're attaching Java Moss to some wood. The Fish Room, helping you keep beautiful aquariums. Alright, so what do we need for this? Something to cut with, scissors work well. Java moss, obviously if we're attaching Java moss to something, we're going to need Java moss. Something to attach it with, flourish glue is what I like to use. Something to cut on and to glue on so we don't get it onto things like this. And a piece of driftwood. You can use rock, you can use uh, ornaments, what have you, but today I'm using a drift piece of driftwood that I've got. I've had hanging around. As you can see, it is already wet. doesn't matter if it's wet to start with or dry. This process works exactly the same way. Let's begin. Okay, so this is a method that I've used plenty of times before. I think it works really well. So you can get a chunk of java moss, get your scissors, and just sort of cut it up. Have to be too fine, too small. What you're doing is producing lots of the little bits of moss to cover it really well. Which then produces lots of different little shoots that are going to go in and grow out little individual bits going outwards, looking nice and pretty. This can also be used for Christmas moss, peacock moss other type of aquatic mosses. So now we've got that, break it up a little bit, just put this to the sides, there's plenty for now. So now we've got a few little piles of cut up bits of java moss. That will go quite far. Now we get a piece of wood, I'm going to use this as the top because it curves that way and I have the substrate under it there so it might make a little cave for a small dwarf cichlid or a small bristle nose pleco or something on those lines. Now we get our glue, here's one that I've already opened, I've got the other one just in case I need it. Put a splotch of glue on it. of java moss, put a couple of spots on that as well, you don't have to do that, it's worked pretty well as well, and away we go, put the glue, and straight onto the spots that you were doing. As we can see here, put a piece on to dab under there that has filled in a little bit of java moss quite easily. So a little bit goes a long way. I'm just showing you now that you can do it without gluing both the java moss and whatever you're attaching it to. So a very, very short period of time, we've got some attached java moss. Glue sets pretty quickly. Alright, so now as that goes into the water, all of this is eventually going to sort of prick up a little bit and grow quite nicely. I'm going to go through now, I'm just going to plant the rest of it out. So as you can possibly see, there's a little white spot of glue there, a little white spot of glue and a little bit there I've just seen. So just put a little bit more over it. And just cover that. And that'll go completely unnoticed. Rip another little piece off to cover that. 
away we go. So you can see the kind of coverage we got from that very small amount of moss. That was roughly about a serve of what you get when you buy it from us at the fish room. So it's a good cover across a decent chunk. So the width I've left my finger, half the width sort of thing. So that'll grow quite nicely. I'm going to go through and I'm going to put the rest of it on. So it's completely covered and then we'll chuck into aquarium and we'll check it out. Okay, next thing to do in this process is you sort of go over to your sink and with some gentle water just give it a quick wash off any sort of loose bits will disappear get washed off a couple there, not too many and away we go Alright, next step we put this bad salve into an aquarium Okay, so as you can see, there's a few white spots on there from the glue that you can either take out again, put a little bit more jar of moss and glue on and cover it up, or you can just leave it and let the moss itself grow over it. You can also see a few sort of strangly bits hanging out, you can cut them off if you want, or just let it all settle in and grow out, which is what I'm going to do. As it grows out, I'm going to sort of trim it off a little bit so it keeps it nice and uh, uniform as much as I can do, and hopefully it makes uh, essentially a grass sort of covered cave um, over the wood so it's a very easy way of attaching java moss to any object you want to put into your aquarium uh, as you can see it works really well it's really effective um, and a lot of a little bit of moss goes a really long way um, I will be doing updates on this piece of wood from time to time or I might just point out some more videos coming through so everybody can see it um, how it's developing but for now, that is all I've got for you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, you can buy the Java Moss and the Seachem Glue from us at thefishroom.co.nz if you're in New Zealand. Um, other than that, have a good one, guys. Happy fish keeping and catch you later.